Plus 2, it's me, Green Tigers Crafts, coming to you with a June update on time. No long wait in between. Um, I currently have the house to myself because the boyfriend is at work. And this is the first time and I can't remember how long without having to call off. But technically, I this is the start of my vacation the first day of my vacation so so it feels kind of planned but <laughs> I had to ask for myself so my dragon's back and my tiger I really need to hang him up but <laughs> yeah you know how that goes I hang him up with the command strips and two three months they are on the floor and send them out the walls I don't like putting nails on the walls, but I like stuff on the on them without breaking. Anyway, I have a finish to show, and it is "Home Is Where the Dog Is." This is by our uh, Brittany Church from Ingleside Imaginarium, and I still need to wash this, which I plan on doing tonight. And hopefully that's not, the words aren't mere to you guys, um, but yeah. Finish! You can actually see the Corgi a lot better in real life. I just realized how pale she is in this camera. But, yay! And... It was actually a very easy, um, uh, fast, uh, stitch once I devoted actual time to it and focused on it. But I don't know quite what I'm going to do with it, but it, it will probably be displayed somewhere. I just, I love this thing. I loved how it turned out. And again, that is, that was by Brittany from Ingleside Imaginarium. One of the, as when I finished the corgi, I uh, wanted to I with me on you know, my uh, uh, website worked on that I haven't worked on in eons. I'm like, that's not. I want to focus. On, I want to kind of focus on the smaller ones, trying to get my whip count down. And because I know I there's so much more I want to stitch, but I keep telling myself, no, gotta gotta keep down. But, um, so I know the, what I've been focusing on for myself has been the, um, the Mirabilia, I think it's called the Mia Mermaid, um, it's a freebie from Lavender, not Lavender Lace, um, oh, shoot, um, it was a 2017, uh, Freebie for the Mary Billia retreat. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up and write it in because I don't remember who has it or if they still have it. But this is as far as I got. And this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be, honestly. And this is on 28 Count Simply Sage. Got this from a, a stitchy box, but I do believe it's uh, hand, by, by, hand dyed by Stephanie. But yeah. The tail is um, done in mostly uh, DMC. I have a weak style of blue jean for the tail and the stomach area. And I honestly cannot remember. I think this one, I think this is a gas, and I couldn't tell you the name of it because it was from the stage box. And it was before I looked on the on back of the. Uh, postcard that comes with it and it says 
what the gas color is. So, but it's a pretty variegated. I'm going to kind of play with my beads to bring out the blue and greenish. But that is where Mia Mermaid is. And one night, that these are in no particular um, order, just whatever I decided to work on last month. So that, um, my Scent of Old Roses by Mar Marabilia. And this photo does not do it justice. This was, um... I think I, I think I started this in 2017 Mania, I think. That looks blurry. Hmm. Anyway, I haven't touched her since I started her, but for some reason she was calling to me, so the last time you would have seen it. And this is currently where I am at. Get up to the camera so you can actually see it. Focus. So basically, this is around her waist area. And this lighter green is part of her shawl. Part of her skirt. And this is on 32 Count Bef Belfast Dusk. It's actually looking really pretty on this uh, fabric, which I can't tell if you're getting the correct color, but it's a light purple and dusty rose mix going on. And I, it's one of the first pieces of fabric I bought from my Ellen. LNS, which is not so L, but and one of my focus pieces I'm trying to focus on throughout the year, not exactly working all out all that well because I kind of it's like oh I need to work on that. I worked on it so well, and then it's like okay I'm kind of tired of it. But it is the lavender lace angel of spring. And this is, again, this is a project for my grandma. And in the last place you would have seen it. And this is currently where I am at. <laughs> So many park threads. Yep, this is currently where I am at. Um, and I made working copies, so. And then I remade a working copy after I carefully erased the pencil because I bought this pattern used. And the previous owner used a lead pencil to mark things off. So I went and carefully uh, erased and remade another working copy so I could actually see all the light symbols. And you can't really see, but... Got part the bottom of her uh, once I got bottom of her sleeves going on over here. Got the petticoat and her skirt. And yeesh. Like I didn't. It doesn't look that light in real life. But this piece is huge. 
are going to be huge and I really need to get my butt around and work on it because that skirt's going to be the death of me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm only, focus, focus, like I'm only in like this area right here. You know, I still got a lot of skirt. <laughs> Oh, one stitch at a time, right? Okay, and the one I've been recently working on, haven't been working on too long. Yeah. Um, is a uh, Design Works uh, Grandchildren. Yeah, Grandchildren. This is a piece by Joan Elliott, and this came as a kit, but I'm making, I'm making a design uh, decision as I'm working on it, but I did switch um, fabric to a 22 count. And the last place you would have seen it. And this is currently where I am at. Focus. Basically, work on um, work on this side of the floor and finish that uh, block. In front of the baby now, I'm working on the the baby that's in the middle, and, or I'm gonna hop over here and start zigzagging now. I don't know. I'm just I'm kind I'm trying to find my flow with this uh, particular pattern, and it's um it's one of those where they don't uh, accentuate the ten by ten block, so it's like very hard for me to uh. Uh, park on it, which probably what I would do with Joan Elliott because she's just confetti heavy enough. But anyway, that is where I currently am at. That's roughly two to our uh, stitching um, hours. I've been I've given it. So a new start. And I don't have a picture of, of this as I bought this pattern from uh, Etsy. But I'll, I'll insert a cover photo of uh, what it will look like. But that is currently where I am at. Smiley move. I am currently doing this for my boyfriend. Um, he loves the video game Doom. Um, and this one is retro. And <laughs> I can't tell you who's who's who. I can't honestly cannot. I know the cacodemon demon goes right here, and I did do that as an ornament for him for Christmas. So that's where I got that pattern from, but. I almost want to say that's pinky. I don't think that's right. But yeah, I got uh, this guy's top half done, and I did fill him him in with a light uh, peachy tone as called for. It kind of blends into the fabric. Um, I still got his uh, legs to do. Then again, then yeah, I think I. Cacodemon, Cacodemon, and uh, the word Doom. And this I got from Stitchy Box. This was their Christmas, uh, Christmas box. Uh, this is 28 Count Lugana Yule. Okay, picture this plus. And I thought it 
I thought it represented the uh, background to the game very well. So that's that's what I'm using. In retrospect, I'm thinking I might be able to fix uh, fit um, to me be a uh, freebie the hula dancer Lena Laney Lenine. I'm just making up names. I start with an L. But I think she'll go really well on this site if I can fit her in. It's going to be very tight margins. But that is, that is it for my stitching. There's the cat, and I'm mad at him, so he doesn't get to make an appearance. But I have been... I've purchased a couple things, and honestly, compared to some of my haul, or my magazine hauls, I don't have that much. So, if I allowed yarn, but <laughs> you'll have me. I, I am a craftist, and I have my craft hobbies and supplies that I need. So, but anyway. I went, I finally with the bullet and bought, uh, Lizzie Kate's Good Marriage and Bad Glare, Black, Bad Glare. I've been wanting the stitches for my dad and stepmom for uh, a while now. But, you know, prim, you know, seeing us around and yeah, that's the size of the pattern. That's a tiny little pattern. That's going to be uh, fun. I waited and waited and waited and waited. And I was, I was hoping just to buy the chart. I had to buy the kit. So I got the Week Style Works. And... This other bag of floss, I'm assuming, is DMC. Very pretty colors. Um, my plan is because it's my dad. I love him dearly, but he will not appreciate the value of the specialty thread. So, I'm going to be swapping those out and uh, picking some cheaper floss for those. But yeah, I I was I was really hoping just to get the pattern because I wasn't planning on doing using the specialty floss for it. But you know, with her uh, retiring, it's like <sighs> just buy the bullet, buy the kit. I also want to get a uh, dog lessons and cat lessons. But anyway, another uh, one, two, three haul, which this happened because I needed more uh, tiny uh, size petite John James needles. I went, I got the Cricut collection, um, let's just go ship, Skeleton Crew. Sorry about the clear, but I don't want to take over this package. Um, Trish, the Star Cross Stitcher? I think I'm saying her name right. Um, she uh, showed this pattern. I'm like, <gasps> I hate that. It, it's just Halloween enough without being creepy or cutesy. And I would probably change the background to either a foggy color or a baby blue. Not quite go with the murky green, but yeah, that's a little cat skeleton. You can't see because you're getting glared on. So that was uh, my one, two, three, plus a pack of needles that you'll know what needles look like. Anyway, went to Joanne's 40% off coupon. Found Design Works, um, Blue Moon. And isn't she gorgeous? I just love her wings. I love her uh, dress. 
I will probably, um, this did come with the Ada, it's a kit, so, I may, may over dye it to make it a little bit darker, though, just so it's more, uh, more of a night sky. Yeah, 40% off coupon. I'm like, hmm. I, and I wanted it. It's pretty. And, and it's not me. The magazines. I got the World of Cross Stitching, um, issue 269. And if you're ever wondering, because uh, these ones don't have the issue number in front of the cover. If I can find it to show you guys. If you go in the back of the magazine, two or three pages from the back, and it says next month, it has a little sticker that says issue 270. So you just subtract the number, and that's the issue that you currently have. So a little tidbit for anybody who, who was like me and couldn't find it for months and months and months. But I really like this one. This is a. Uh, got this. Hmm. Or maybe it was this one. I don't know. This is cute. They got really cute. Uh. If you're into bees and honeycombs, combs, they do have a sampler. I like the dream catcher. But they have cute cacti. So, thought they had a, thought this was a magazine, yep, see if I can find it, that's the alphabet, okay, In this magazine, they have a uh, under the sea motifs, and there's a lot more, and, but I can't try because they're pa um, packs, they are patrons, Oh, nice back. Wrong one. Yeah. I, I'm mixing out the magazines, so. You have get mermaids, you get a whale, you get an octopus, you have a coral, turtle. Mm, oh, yep. You get some more. That These are patterns. I won't be able to show you these guys, but. Oh, they got a little, uh, an orca in her. Orca and her baby. Stingray, submarine. So, yeah. I like the uh, Under the Sea. And, um, I also got Cross Stitcher issue 331. And this one has a really cute, um, Do, do, do. Both of these were kind of water thing. Um, kind of a uh, animal, which animal themed um, suggestions. And I do kind of like the. Uh, Beach theme they're going for. They have a beach theme um, alphabet. And I'm using the free pattern. <laughs> and the free pattern is a uh, from Lingo Monkeys. Okay, that is it for my stitching. Like I said, I'm mad at him. He got out three times today. No. And he's trying to push. You know how cats like to, um, it's like, oh, this is mine, and rub against. Well, they tend to knock things down. But anyway, that is, um, the stitching. Get your plans. I plan on doing the Star Trek, uh, uh, quote. 
I was going to do this for the uh, Star Star Trek piece I did for um, for Christmas, but I ended up not. It wasn't the fabric wasn't wide enough, and it wouldn't have meant long enough. So. I'm going to do that for my dad because I think he would appreciate that. And it being words, it won't take too long. But yeah. Anyway. No. No. I'm mad at you. You ran away three times. Yeah. <sighs> But I also been uh, crocheting as well, which this is going to be fun to show you. But I actually, I finished this uh, before I went to bed this morning. I did finish the butterfly uh, prayer shawl. And this thing is huge. <laughs> it, this is meant to be a shawl. It, I don't think you can comfortably wrap this around your neck without strangling yourself. Um, I got this fabric from... What are you doing? I got the pattern from... I found it through Fiber Spider, who links a Ravelry page. To the pattern itself and I did a simple edge I did a mess mesh edge and uh, then finished it with a seven double crochet with the pico in the middle all the way from side to side but yeah that is Christmas gift one. Done. Christmas Christmas gift two. And that, I don't remember where I left you guys off at. But this is another uh, Christmas gift shawl. This is a uh, it's got a 3D uh, rich effect. This is from this is um, Bag of Day, a uh, rainbow sherbet um, shawl. It's currently where I'm at, and yeah, this one's taking up a lot more yarn because of the uh, the front post and back post. In, that's how you're getting these uh, ridges. Maybe if I show you in a not white color, camera will pick up on it. Yeah, you get like a 3D texture going on. Which I really, really like it. So, but it does take up a little bit more yarn. But <laughs> you can't take the money with you when you die. So. I might spend it on silly stuff that you actually might use. I, you know, you all know how that goes. It's like, oh, I can use that, and you buy a bunch of it, it's like, and you never get around to it because he has life and other projects. So, and this one, I started it. I don't know exactly when I started this, but I decided I was going to make a blanket for my grandma. And this is uh, the Michigan University of Michigan or Michigan, no, University of Michigan, Michigan uh, logo. Or my best uh, rep representation of it. And. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping track of all the, because I'm doing this in a granny square uh, fashion. So, I got my gold. 
Yeah, these are all the squares I have so far. Excuse me. Um, I've, I've got um, them hair tied together in a bundle of 10 so I can keep track of the count because it took me probably 15 minutes to figure out the numbers I needed for each. Or the total numbers of square I needed, but if these are just red heart uh, worsted weight. No. The navy blue is red heart. The this one is burnet. So that is what I've been up to. Um Yeah. So that was an actually really short update. Um <laughs> Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. I don't think there's anything else per se. Um, so, I will, uh, oh, and, oh, there was something. Um, my printer was an, it's an HP printer, it's a 4500 series. It has stopped uh, copying, it has stopped scanning and I don't think it's printing either and I've gone and updated the drivers and whatnot so I need a new need a new printer so please let me know what printer you have and how you feel about it because I want to I want a three-in-one where I can scan copy and print because the when it comes to like the color charts I like to scan them in so I can uh, uh, work from them on my computer, which I, I use my paint. I don't have an, I don't use Adobe. I use, I open up the image in paint and I just use the paintbrush to mark off the chart where I'm at. So I would like a way to scan them into the computer. Um, I like to work from paper copies if they're in black and white. And you know, printing. So yeah. So please, um, let me know what kind of printer you have, and if you like it or dislike it, or you no, know, and if it's an ink hog, because it's one thing I noticed with the HP um, printer. It was just it 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 went through ink like no tomorrow. So anyway, uh, thank you in advance, and um. Yeah, stitch so you don't kill people. Bye.